Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Space Engineers, episode 5. So it's like ridiculous time right now, like 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning, 7 in the morning almost. And I'm still playing, having fun. So Fugner has moved in a little bit more here. He's got a refinery and a settler set up, the storage, and uh, yeah. I accidentally had a pretty bad accident today, and I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, I went ahead and played with this, and I went to info, and I converted this entire station into a ship. So what I had to do was I had to take these uh, blocks here. Remember these puppies here? And I had to build one over here, a new station, and I had to build it. Uh, I'll show you where the station was. It was about... Uh, so there was one merger block here, and there was another merger block here. But you couldn't put them together. So you had to put the merger block here and the station here. So station, merger block, space, merger block. And then I put a cockpit and then uh, and then a thruster over here. And I had to thrust myself into this and to grab onto it. Now when they merge, they automatically lock in. It works perfectly in that sense. But one thing you have to be careful is when it did that, this entire thing swung like an arm and kind of was like and it almost actually went past the locking mechanism and caused us to screw up even more. So if for you guys in the future anyways, um, put one here and then put one over there if you're merging it up if it's something this big and large or better yet, don't be an idiot like I was. Either way, we got it, it works, I fixed it, it's good. This, uh, you know, it wasn't quite locking in, and it was floating, so I took my ship and bumped it downwards. And it's sitting there for now, so I'll keep it like that, I don't care. So today, we're gonna make our cloning facility, finally, because it's just time that we did that. Oh, look at that, we'll all hold. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our cloning facility, shall we? Um, these are pretty darn important. So, oops. Oops, sorry. Maybe if we get them on the right uh, axis here, huh? So, I'm not sure where to even put it. I'm going to just put it right... Hmm. I don't even know, if, to be honest. Let's just sit it right here for now. Even right here. There we go. I might have to change some stuff up later, but whatever. <laughs> And this will be the new medical room, so when I die, I can spawn here rather than back at spawn, which is 10k away, and save me trouble, effort, time, etc. And what are we missing? Medical components. Oh yeah, that's right, we can pick it all up. Oops. There you go. Ta-da! And then, to make sure Fugner can also use this, uh, we go to share with my faction. If you shared it with all anyone, even any of your faction could use it. But that wouldn't be really recommended. So, um, let's give it a try, shall we? Well, I was expecting death, maybe this way, huh? There you go. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually flipping. There we go. So we got our medical room right here. And uh, we can actually name, that's another thing, we can go to it. Oops, that's his control panel. We can go here and there we go, we can name it Death to All. And that way it should show up next time we die. Let's hope we don't die anytime soon, that would be a misfortune. Oh really? 80%? Let's do this again. Oh shit, I missed it! Ha ha ha! That's funny. Yeah. There we go. Death to all. There you go. So we respawn it, and there you go. Ta da! So we're at our own base now. We don't have to worry about, you know, being stuck at spawn. Uh, so there we go. Uh, so I thought we would do some maybe slight enhancements to our ship today, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. With the style or the setup, at least I have, it's going to be a little hard, honestly. Um, I never did set up this really well for multiple, uh, multiple uh, things. You know, it might be possible. Let's give it a try, anyways. Um, let's go ahead and just fire this up first, and let's go ahead and create uh, a couple more of these, and let's go in here and get some plates. And, oh yeah, well, this is a heavy ship, so let's switch these to heavy, period, there we go. Let's 
see how this works. Phillies are almost useless anyways. Oh, I like them. They're kind of cute, but... Now I'm hoping these thrusters don't burn, but they might burn it, so we'll find out, I guess, anyways. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so, um, G, and do, 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 there we go, oops, there we go, and we'll spin this puppy around, there we go, and this should work, yeah, I think that would work, I think we'd actually be fine with that, yeah, I think we would. There you go. It's like only one of them does the rotation and you gotta figure out which one. Play the game of rotation. There you go. And this will be our new uh, mining and this should definitely help out a bit in the mining area. In the mining world. Not bad, not bad. And then on top of that, um, I think we need to get that ore detector going here. Yeah, that's definitely going to actually work. I think we're good there. Uh, we definitely want to get an ore detector going. I feel like because of this, we could actually add more thrusters to this now. But some people will be like, that's a bad idea. You don't need more thrusters, Kane. No, I really don't, do I? But we need an ore detector, so let's get that going here. Um... We had pretty much said this was the most useless item of all time. So let's get rid of that, shall we? And uh, let's get that ore detector going. So we actually have the detector component somewhere in here. I don't know what other materials you need, but uh, let's just grab random components and something should eventually fit. <laughs> uh, so let's go and, oops, G, and ore detector. It looks like an ore detector. Nope. Close though. Where are you? It's like that ish, but not really. Uh, cross between that and that? Oh, there it is. You're probably like, not even close. Fine, don't believe in me. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to put you in there. Even more perfection. There we go. And then this should work out. Now we could go a little more fancy and just change this into one of those cross pieces. I don't know if that actually helps preventing it from, um, let's say, from slipping a bit. If that makes any sense. But either way, we'll see what happens. Like if you catch it, I don't know if that helps a bit. I feel like that extra support would be good anyways. There we go. Not bad, not bad. So, um, let's give this a shot, shall we? So, uh, I think it's fine. And as long as this doesn't burn anything, which I think, yeah, it's definitely fine, I think. Yeah, we're definitely going to be okay. So we never actually did. Did I ever even show you this? I, I don't think I did. So... Let's go ahead and give you a, a show off on the the mining rig anyways. We'll go out and do a bit of mining and I think we'll call it an episode. It won't be as long as some of them, but wanted to show you the uh, the clone machine, wanted to do a little touch ups onto this, wanted to definitely get the ore detector going, and another two uh, mining drills. I think we're into the games now, and this is gonna be awesome. So of course it's an eighty second process to get from here to there. 
Um, also, my ship is gone. Uh, you probably didn't even notice, but the little ship I had, gone. Uh, big accident. Goodbye, um, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it happens. Getting there. <laughs> Takes a little minute. Like I said, I think it takes about 80 seconds if I'm right. If it was 8, yeah. You can tell me if I'm crazy or not, but anyways. There we go, we're getting there. I guess the ore detector will help a bit too now. Assume it's automatically on by default. It used to be like 50 ish, I think, 50, 60. Oh crap, let's get this on. We don't accidentally slam into that. Okay, so. I don't see any ore, so either it can't be placed like that, or we need to place it somewhere else, ore detector. Ooh, what? Shouldn't it be on already, or? before it actually has to have a uh, line of sight out oh, there it is so there you go it's, it helps might not be the world's best method of doing it but it works I found the, a bit of light did help find your way into this but there you go so now we just grind our way into victory if you really want more energy you can put it like that there you go And you could go all the way through, though. I still don't like that myself much. I know some people do that, but... So we'll see what we did there. So, in a little bit, we ended up getting... Uh, holy crap. So we got more inventory than what we would be able to probably hold. Actually, that's volume, so no, that's the wrong. I'm just thinking of mass. But still, look at all that platinum. Actually, that's not a lot of platinum. Also that stone, I guess the platinum is actually buried in here deeper than I thought. Interesting. Either way, it's probably not the nicest platinum vein. Oop, you gotta be careful. And sometimes you want to go and take an inspection, you know, make sure the drills are fine. Yep. Sometimes you hear a bang, it's like, oh god. It's the day I want to break a drill. But we're fine. You could even, you know how I had the cargo container? If you're really crazy and creative, you could actually bring a cargo container with you. Um, I know this sounds weird, but you could um, put two or three, whatever, or all, you know, another replacement set of drills in there that way if you break one accidentally you could easily replace them on the on the run without having to go back to the base or whatever some materials are a lot softer than others so it looked like I just went through that like candy
know. But that magnesium is good because that makes guns and stuff like that, which is great. But there you go. So 3K, 3K. So this is almost like, what, two, three inventories worth of uh, runs just like that. You know, very quick, simple, easy. So there you go. That's a little tour of the mining process and how it works. Now, you could use conveyors, which I will eventually, but you could use conveyors and automate this, put it in a big chest, things like that. I don't really care right now to do that, but a lot of people will do that. Some people, I think, have already started, and I definitely will in the near future. I'll probably make a couple more refineries, things like that, first, but uh, yeah, definitely a, a method to go if you want. Be interested to see how fast I get through this iron, even a chunk of it. I mean, it's a pretty decent sized ship, so. Uh, oops, there we go. So look at all that iron now. <laughs> Beautiful. But, anyways, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, my little mining ship up close. My other uh, small fighter ship, I'm going to rebuild one. Um, I don't know what happened, honestly. It just blew up like that at spawn. Um, I don't know if the cockpit took enough impact and just split in half. It is possible, I guess, but I'm not really sure. Um, I might try to reinforce the other co one with the cockpit. I'm not sure yet. But uh, either way, she's gone. I have to make another one. And, uh, yeah, that sums that up. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the near future. Please don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment. And check the link in the description. That, that's actually uh, a way to join our server. If you like, uh, we did actually get another uh, spill, I think his name is. That's what we call him anyways. Uh, joined, which is crazy awesome. So shout out to uh, Spill for joining our community. Uh, hopefully more people consider joining us and see you next time.